Hello and welcome, everybody. Uh, we already have a number of people who are in and a whole lot of people that have typed in sound, so we're having a great start. Uh, tonight, Eliza, unfortunately, won't be with us, so we have three other people who are going to be assisting this evening. I'll be dropping out and putting these three people up. Uh, depending on what the question is, uh, is will depend on who I put forward. So uh, please, if you have any questions for the three people tonight, there will be some one-card readings. There will be some uh, psych psych psychiatric uh, uh, aptitude and psychics and some readings. So I will bring forward the three people and you are welcome to ask questions of them is Annette Kirkwood and she will be doing one card reading so if hi Annette how are you good thanks how are you I'm doing well Annette will be doing one card readings so if you have a question for Annette anytime soon you can put up that question and Annette will pull a card for you and uh, do a question now, after that, we have Leanne Winston. Now, Leanne is a psychic and a medium. Hello, Leanne. How are you? Hey, Roy. I'm good, thank you. And you? I am doing well, thank you. Now, Leanne is a marvellous uh, reader and psychic, and if you have the opportunity and you have a question, then I would suggest you type the question in. And we have Mary Waters says, Hi, Annette. So somebody's already got to go. Hi, Mary. So that's lovely. And our last but not our least is Yvonne Schwersk. I've got to be careful how I say that. Hello, Yvonne. <laughs> Hello. You're on, Hello. Yvonne. Um, so if anybody's got questions, Yvonne is also a psychic medium. So you can ask a question of any of these three women and I'm sure that you will have the best of results. Now, what I'm going to do I, is to leave it open. I'll drop back into the lobby and let these three women talk among themselves. And if you have a question, I will put it up and somebody will pick it. So thank you very much, peoples. You take care of this and make sure you keep these women busy. <laughs> thank hey, you, Roy. Roy. Hello, ladies. How are you? I'm not bad. How are you, Leanne? That's good. Good, thank good. you. So... So we've got Shelley asking for any news for me. You guys can see the comments at the top of the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Who would like to start? And then do any card? Yes. Do you guys sense a baby around Shelley? I do. Me yeah, too. I do too. Yeah. Oh. So baby news. Excellent. I'm actually, just while Annette's um, shuffling her cards, I'm actually drawn to the lower back, honey, so I don't know. Hey, Mary, um, I don't know if you have a little bit of lower back pain at the moment, but I'm not getting anything like warning bells or anything going off, but I do feel like I've got a bit of a muscle strain in my lower back, honey, with your energy. Yes, I hey, was Joanne, in Marama, where are you being gen called Journey to? I think there is a baby coming or she's pregnant. Yeah. What do you so maybe, you, honey, you could give us some feedback and just write in the comments yes or no for for baby news. But uh, it sounds, I, I feel positive about it. So yeah. Mary says, yes, I do. Beautiful. <laughs> and are you picking up anything around there? Mary? Um, no. Um, sorry, Yvonne. Um, am I on here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all on. The yeah, three of us are on screen together. So, oh, um, spiritually, and I feel that she's um, worries a lot financially, um, and just to go easy on money and spending at the moment. Okay, excellent. But all right. For her in a in a better way. Mary's saying how amazing to have three here. It is. And we had a message from Kylie. I think she was just, uh, she just says, hey, guys, wondering if you will, um, if I will get the unit I'm after. I get yes to that. Okay, you guys sensing yes? Yes, so I get the, yep. three around that as well. So whether that's uh, three days or the third of a month, um, I'm yep. leaning around on phone. 
A third of the month's not actually too far away, so I'm sure Kylie. Kylie's actually one of my students. Um, hey, Alicia. Hope you're well, honey. Any messages of guidance for me? I'll let you ladies do that one because I've read for Alicia a few times. Eve on the channeling. You want to do the card first, Annette? Okay. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. She's a beautiful or card. She's changing things around and going in a new direction, and it's going to be positive. Yay. You just need to put things in place to take the actions and um, step forward and all the doors will start to open up for you. Um, there's a little bit of um, self-doubt that's creeping in that's holding you back a little bit, but if you keep keep your mind positive and keep moving, and those doors will open very soon. Lovely. Sounds like exciting things coming, hun. So it's good. Just believe in yourself as well. Because I want to say don't allow that self-doubt to get in your own head. And Melissa says, uh, well, I have a girl. Uh, what do you see, guys? Girl or boy? Uh, yeah. Boy. You get a I'll boy? Say yes. Girl. Girl? And you think it's a boy, Eva? Yeah. I got yeah. I, I was. Boy. I'm sorry, Annette. I felt like it was a boy as well <laughs> with that side. Hey, Nori. What a combination. I am watching three amazing women. Oh, thank you, honey. We should get you on here with us, hun. <laughs> Angela says, any messages for me, please? Who wants to do this one? I get Leanne gets this one. I get this one? All right. Yeah. Okay. Angela, I do feel there is changes coming in around you at the moment. So I want to say look at the way that the energy is shifting. I also feel that you need to put yourself first and focus on you at the moment because when you do that, everything else is going to follow. I do feel that the energy in the past has been a little bit up and down, so testing in times, but look at the way that you're coming out a much stronger person at the moment, okay? Just breathe and ground yourself as well, honey, because I do feel that is very important. You've got such a big heart look at the energy that you're putting out there and make sure you're getting that balance back but I do feel that things um, opportunity is coming next year and things will fall into place so just look at what is being put in front of you okay so I wish you all the very best with that one it seems weird not having Roy here doesn't it <laughs> Bella, hi ladies, happy Wednesday. Just wondering if you see trouble falling pregnant, positive things. Would you ladies like to do this? Because I did answer a question for this lady just mm. recently. The thing I'm getting is that um, it'll take a little bit longer than she expects to fall pregnant, um, but not to go worrying too much and have patience with it. I've got the number seven around that, so that can go from the seventh of months, seven weeks, seven months. Um, but that's where I'm leaning to around that time frame. So whatever comes first. Um, try not to, to get into the, the worry, caught up in the worry of it all, because um, it actually can prevent it from happening. Um, mm. the out. So it's just uh, relax, enjoy your life, um, go and spend some time together and, and just let it all fall into place. Yeah. Right, so Make it about... Oh, sorry, Hannah, I think I spoke over you then. Didn't mean to. I get, um, I quite often say to people when it comes to pregnancy, make it about yourself and your partner, that connection you make together, not about focusing on getting pregnant. I had fertility problems for years and I can understand how easy it is to get in that headspace where you get obsessed with getting pregnant and the the stress, the negativity that comes with that as well. So I always say go out, have fun, and make it about yourself and your partner and the connection and just allow it to happen. Okay, it takes the pressure off, but it's having fun at the same time. All right. Did you have a card for um, Bella? Yeah, Priestess, Hi. which is with the partner twice, and I see twins. Twins? Oh, you might have twins. your hands full, Bella. Like to know <laughs> <Beautiful>. the <outcome. laughs> 
Wonderful. Yeah, we love baby news. So, um, and the news of the ring on the finger would be, let us know about that too, hun. <laughs> Excellent. So while we're waiting for the next question, ladies, what have you got up planned for the rest of the week? Ah, here we go. Crystal, anything for me? Do you want to go first, Annette? Yeah, go. I like photos. There's no photo. No photo? No. What do you mean? On the um, profile picture. Crystal, I feel, I've got frustration around you. I feel impatient with where things are going in life. Um, uh, I get, I'm getting to take the steps. I'm seeing one, two, three, and, you know, but you, you can't sit and it's like don't sit and oh, overthink things. Um, there's many doors that it's going to open up for you, but you've got to step out there and do the research and uh, find out what it is that you're actually wanting to happen. Um, I feel that you have trouble in decision-making. Um, just sit quietly with yourself for a moment and, and just see what pops, okay? But once you get to that stage, then take the steps and, and keep going, okay? There's also a holiday around you, Crystal, too. Um, I've got tropical trees around you, so whether it's Queensland or tropical situation, but I do see, see a holiday. Um, and I'm, I'm on the beach. I'm on the beach. I feel like I'm walking along the beach, so definitely a beautiful time ahead. I've got January jumping out around you, Crystal. So something very significant in the month of January. So this is where I feel like one, one chapter finishes and um, new beginnings mm. in, in the month of January. So I'm being tingled all over, Crystal, so I feel like spirits around you as well. So you've got someone very, very dear to you. And I've got a lot of love being sent your way right now. And, oh, I've got, yeah, and they're actually excited. They're, they're going to be helping you along your way. So you just need to believe in yourself and trust and, and just keep going because all the doors are going to open. Love is coming. Okay, or, or there's some connection or commitment that's going to take place between whoever you meet or whoever you're with right now, if that makes sense. If you can let me know Beautiful. if that made any sense to you. What a lovely reading. I actually felt that Crystal had a little bit of anxiety as well, so whether she was just a bit nervous at the moment or there's anxiety, just ground yourself, honey, and breathe while this is happening. Okay. So Sharon would like to know, uh, hello, anything for me, please? Oh, Sharon, I get a little bit of anxiety around you too, honey. So um, I'm just jumping in, sorry, ladies. Um, I get the reference to things are a little bit up in the air, a little bit unsettled at the moment for you. But I want to say just take the time for you, whether you're looking at relationship at the moment or the significance to the ring. I just get the reference to being taken around the relationship as well. So I do have changes being put in front of you, but look at the way things will start to settle down and start to flow. So I want to say this year has been a bit of a hard year for you. It's a feeling that things will get better and pick up next year. I feel like more positive energy is coming in. All right, take a breath, just breathe, ground yourself. Okay, yeah. beautiful. Uh, Carly just says, thank you, ladies. You got a card for Sharon? Protection, soul retrieval, sisterhood, cut the cords. Thank you. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Caroline own. says, hello, AK. Hey, Ma. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Lovely. Beautiful. <laughs> Tracy says, can you see me, me moving house, please? Yes, I do. And if I see the number five around that, so I like to cut it down because there's no time in the spirit world. Um, so it can go really from the fifth of the month up to five months. So where it falls on the five. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Um, I felt like that was a yes too from me. With that side of Debbie, will I move to Northern Territory? Not yet. I'll let the other ladies talk with it. <laughs> what are you getting at there? Um, uh, sorry, I'm here, Yvonne. He said yeah. your letter. Wrong name. So you <laughs> sorry, I'm, that, right? okay, I'm looking at Yvonne, Yvonne and I say Annette. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 
straight away with that one, just not yet. It doesn't feel like mm. it's the right time yet. February is out around that for me. Yeah, I was feeling there was a move, but not yet, because I do feel timing is quite um, quite very much around the focus with that side of it as well. Yeah. Excellent. You will move, but just not yet. I think when the time's right, everything will fall into place with that. Angela says, any good news, please? That's the same photo. It is. The same lady. Who's going to, for this one? You go. Do you want to pull a card with that, Annette? Alicia says, thank you. You have to pull it back again, Roy. I was going to say Mr. Music Man. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the man behind the screen. Oh, okay. Trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So Angela already knows if this card's come up and she needs to listen, trust and do it. Feeling it's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Directness in it. <laughs> Lee says, hello, ladies. Anything for me? Yeah, she's gorgeous. And she's lovely in her heart that. as well. Yeah, I get loveliness around her and she's very kind and just to be yourself and it, your world's awesome. She's beautiful. But I got the smiles <laughs> just reading the conversation, uh, the comments sort of thing with that side of it. Did you want to do that one, Avon? I'm trying to get into it. I feel she's got, uh, Lee's got a lot of changes around her. Um, I've got spiritual growth happening. I feel that she's... Uh, very intuitive. Um, I feel she's very open to spirit. Um, very sensitive. Um, uh, either trying to understand it or move forward with it, but I've definitely got um, that sort of movement around me. That makes sense. Yeah. I actually want to put the study books in front of her as well going into next year. So whether she's looking or focusing on study as well, I just want to say, look at what's being put there in front of you, honey. But there is a lot of growth there. And she's beautiful inside and out. <laughs> Lovely energy. Feel like he's making us wait. Yeah, he's probably having people. <laughs> Roy, we've done that one. <laughs> uh, Yvette, can you see me moving house at any time soon? Seems to be a common thing with uh, tonight is moving house. Yeah. And the I get floorboards. yes with what's, that. What's the house with the, with the floorboards? floorboards? Hmm? Okay. The floorboards, so ladies. Could, what do you feel about so the floorboards? Could, Maybe it's a house, she'll know the house by the floorboards, having floorboards yeah. within it when she finds it possibly. Angela's saying thank you. For everybody else who's watching, I'm one with my two mentors, so this is pretty cool for me. <laughs> <laughs> Frank says, hi, would I be getting money soon? He's already got it. No. Well, okay. There's more. Yeah, if he I'd has, like, there's more to come. Um, I think it's an injury or this or an accident. There's something around Frank. Um, just waiting for. I feel like um, money coming his way. Definitely. I feel it's very soon. I'm seeing the number four around that. Um, so whatever that falls on the four. Um, if you haven't heard, we've been listening, Frank. Four days, four weeks, four for the month, for four months. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely money there coming. Yeah. Shelley, nope, no baby. She's not pregnant. So, honey, what would be the lower back pain for you? I feel like it's muscular. Kylie, hi, sweets. Is there anything for me? I love the little pictures. Yeah. Is there a Scorpio around, Kylie? I actually pick up a grandfather figure for her, but I want to mention Dad's side of the family. I do have a strong gentleman that stands there. 
He gives me a hand on the heart, which, honey, is my uh, sign for love and pride for yourself. I just feel like with his energy, I can't speak properly. So whether he had had a stroke or was a little bit restricted in the communication side, I just feel like it's hard for the mouth to move with that side of it to be able to get the words out. Um, I just, I don't know, I get a little bit of anxiety around you too, hun, with that side of it. So whether there's just a little bit of stress going on or things that are triggering that anxiety, I do feel it's important for you to, to ground yourself to breathe and allow that energy to move and you will find that it will move quite quickly when you go with the flow. Okay. Is she still there? No? He's taken it down, but you can still go for it. Kylie, I feel the feeling that I've got that keeps coming over me is I feel like you're carrying a lot of past into your into the present, into now, and I feel that that's sort of interfering um, with the movement in your life. So if you can work through some of the, the hurts or the memories that you're still carrying in the inside, um, like do some writing, write it down, try to clear the way, mm -hmm. and, and forgive and to help you to let go. Okay, just feel what you're holding on to a lot of stuff in the past. That makes sense. That explains the pain here that I'm receiving. You're getting there? Excellent. Yeah. So Christine says, hi, ladies, can you please tell me the letter of the name of my daughter's next boyfriend as she, as her crush is confusing her? I've got R straight away. Yeah, I was getting the R as well. I've got so a K. Short, okay. So we've got two hours and a K. I feel like it's a short name or a name that can be shortened with that side of it. Um, yeah, I want to say she needs to set her boundaries with the with the crush at the moment. Bella says, ha I'm putting positive thoughts out there. Every time I hang the washing, I hope to have twins one day. So that's awesome. Excellent. Honey, you'll have to let us know. Send us a message when you feel uh, find out that you're pregnant and what you're having. Jessie's, uh, or Jessa, sorry, honey, if I've said your name wrong. Hi, ladies. Anything for me? Annette, want to go first? You want to do a card, Annette? No. Nah. Uh, <laughs> I can hear a mind ticking over. Yeah. <laughs> My filter, I'm trying to work out how to say things, ladies. Okay. As we know, and it's filter. <laughs> this and one is this <laughs> John. <laughs> no, filter? Like, and it's filter sometimes goes off the screen. So <laughs> she's doing very well to control herself tonight. Well done, honey. I feel like Jazza helps everybody and um, helps regardless of her own needs, whether she's being affected negatively by it. She still goes into bat and tries to help people and she needs to look after herself more. How was that? Okay. Well done. All right, let's take it one step further. I'll push a bit more. What was the emotion oh. you were picking up on to start with? Oh, sadness and the hurt. And loneliness. Self-confidence. Yeah, yeah, and tightness again, not speaking her truth. Yeah. And well take done. a break. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I, said it well. Sorry. <laughs> I get the like, the proud mama bear. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Jennifer, hi ladies. Could I please have a reading? All right. Who would like to take that one? Oh, it's supposed to be one question only. If, if Go, on, Eva. Go on, Go on. No, don't. One question only. <laughs> that was the rules. Okay. All right. Where's the wedding? You're picking up on a wedding? Yeah. No, I'm not. She's either going to a wedding or she wants to get married or... This I get the feeling there's a lot of pos <laughs> I get the reference to there's a lot of positive energy coming in, like that excitement is building into something big coming very shortly for her. I guess she's very ambitious, very career minded. So she puts her mind yeah. to it. She could do anything if she tries. That makes sense? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Come on, Roy. <laughs> Angela. Angela would like a card, please. Come on, Annette. Hurry up. It's like silence. The great gathering. It's all coming together. <laughs> Intuit, intuition hits. Soul tribe. Angela's friends and family and everyone is around you. It's going to be a big Christmas, actually. Oh, that's fun. Nice. What do you guys get for a Christmas? That's huge. We're coming to your place, Angela. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> Gabrielle, my partner just left me for a younger woman he works with. I was with him for 16 years, no children, but they, we were trying. She's 28 and he's 44. She has three children already. Will he come back to me or should I let him go? I'll let him go. I got let go as well, honey. I just feel that he's done it once too. I get the feeling he will do it again. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm going to say let him go. Crystal says, thank you so much. I can relate to everything you both said. You're very welcome, Crystal. Gloria, is my relationship going to get better? Oh, Did you want to take that one, Yvonne? Well, the communication, I feel that you're both misinterpreting one another. You need to go down into the heart space and really speak mm -hmm. your speak your truth. I feel there's a bit of stubbornness that's going on between the both of you, which is actually hurting each other, okay? So it's like a mirror reflection of one another. You need to drop the guard and be honest and speak your feelings. It should start yeah. from the space. I get the really heavy heart around there for her. So whether she's putting the walls up around her heart to try to protect herself, I just get you need to open the heart up, do the communication, do the work um, on being together or otherwise get out is the feeling I get with that. If you can't do the work, let it go. That was pretty harsh the way they came through with that. Oh, it was coming through harsher for me, Leanne. I just, you can see that the next filter is going to be found again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's my Hi, everyone. Filter. I, okay. Holding your mouth shut, you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Javina says, Hi, everyone. I would love a reading, please. I'm Michaela. I love the picture. <laughs> I'll try to sing with these glasses. What's <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a little squirrel or a beaver or something like that. You want to do something again? Okay. Um, all right, honey. I do feel there's a few around you in spirit with that side of it. So I want to say I've got four elderly people around you. I do get the reference to a great-grandmother that comes through on mum's side. I need to acknowledge the jury that is handed down on there as well. I also want to put the changes around you that are already in play. So to me, it's a feeling that the energy, the shift, the change is coming. You just need to let go of the structure and go with the flow and breathe with that side of it, honey. I want to say look at work, look at change around that. But I, at the same time, I also feel you need to surround yourself with like-minded people because I get the reference to uh, looking at those that are holding you back. Now, I get that scares you in making new friends because I get the anxiety that kicked in as soon as I, I mentioned the need to surround yourself with different people and looking at you know, those that are there. The grandfather figure is coming through very strong. He's got his hand on his heart, which is my sign for love and pride for yourself. But I also get the war history, the uniform that is there with him as well. So I want to say, look at the service history that comes through on that side of the family, okay? I wouldn't be surprised if you've got a bit of anxiety too, honey, lately. So look at the triggers around that, all right? So I wish you all the very best with that. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Natasha, I'll leave this one to you, ladies, because I have read, for, I know Natasha. Uh, when will the doctors find out why my son sons are B12 deficient? I'm feeling like a bad mum. It's not you, honey. You're not a bad mum, Natasha. 
I can feel that you're awesome. You're a beautiful mother. Otherwise, you wouldn't be feeling like this. Yvonne's so channeling. I'll be quiet now. I see um, broccoli as well. I don't know if you've got B12 um, broccoli. Not too sure. I keep seeing something to do with the blood. Yeah, that's right into the bloods too. Yeah, it's it's like um, yeah, it's whatever something going on with the blood. There's a feeling I've got, or whether they do more tests on the blood. Um, but there's something like I don't know. There's something to, the feeling I've got something to do with whatever you know. You get a positive, O positive, and blood types. I just feel there's yep. something in the blood that's just very different. Like don't go blaming yourself on it. I I just feel it's like um just genetic thing it's not, not nobody's yeah. yeah i was being drawn to the family history around that as well yeah so i'd be looking back at um family honey and see maybe if the b12 is a, a thing that runs through the family i'm not sure if it can be hereditary but I, I do feel that it's very much to do with the bloods and looking at that side as well okay. so you have to let me know honey when you get some answers <sighs> Her I, phone, was. I love her. She's beautiful. You guys, Persephone. I can read for Persephone any, any time. She's my gorgeous goddess. Hello. So you guys do it, please. I'd love you guys to read for her. Annette, would you like to go first, hon? I just love her. It's hard for me to read as someone I love so much. So, no, I think you guys should do it and give it a look to me. <laughs> okay, Off you go. I'll draw, I'll, oh, you're leaving it to me. I was waiting for you. <laughs> All right. Wow. Bring honey, that one you're through gonna, for her. You've got a very busy mind, honey. I do feel that you are very much the thinker. You put a lot of pressure on yourself as well with that. I do have the male figure around you that's passed over. Now, if it's not your father, it's the grandfather that was like a fathering energy to you as well i do get the hand on the heart um i feel like life was complicated for him a little bit if that's the way to put it because i do feel that there were the challenges with him but he made the most of everything that he did in that way i do get a bit of a stubbornness come through with this male but i feel that you've got that stubbornness at times and you know when to dig your heels in and when to move forward, okay? I want to say look at moving forward at the moment because I do feel there is changes coming with opportunity being put in front of you very shortly, okay? I do want to say you've done the hard work in the past to allow this energy to move. So I want to say all that work that you've done in the past is about to start paying off if it hasn't already, okay? So I'll leave it at that. Uh, Evan, did you get anything you want to add to that? you covered it all there <laughs> did you okay thank you i get she's got a big heart too oh yeah and to get grounded gorgeous goddess yeah she's highly Beautiful. sensitive but strong strong yeah yeah i could see the in her energy i could see the strength so um we've got sharon says wow that was spot on thank you so much you are very welcome honey i'm sure the other ladies agree angela may i have a card please did that yeah, Roy, Just come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, double click that one, Roy. <laughs> we've pulled a card, we've answered a question. <laughs> I love it. We'll have to get the stick out and poke him. <laughs> He's probably laughing his head off. Debbie says, Thank you, ladies. You are very welcome. Guys, um, oh, Theani. Hey, Theani. Beautiful. Guys, don't forget to hit the share button. Invite your friends and family to join in and put their comments in as well uh, to join in on the conversations. Angela says thank you. Wonderful. Mm. Madison, I love that name. Does the guy I like from university have in uh, have interest in me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think he's got a few interests, Madison. I feel he's not quite ready to be settled with one person or, or get involved with one particular person. I feel he's he's got a um, a few goals set that for himself in the future. So I feel that this could interfere 
forward with some of his plans, if that makes sense. And I want to second all that. And and it's done very well to hold herself back from saying more. <laughs> well done, hon. Thank you. Lee says, oh, thank you, guys. Much love. Love to you too, honey. No. Katie says, can I get some guidance, please? I know this lady personally, so if it's a lady I'm thinking, you guys can go ahead. I'll leave Yvonne to do the guidance. <laughs> I feel like I'm in two minds about in which way to go in my life with this lady, um, with Katie. Um, I feel like I've got a decision I need to make. Like, um, my head's overriding my heart, if that makes sense. Um, hurt feelings, I keep getting hurt feelings. You're really taking direct hits to the heart, and I feel like one minute you want to, mm. you want to stay, and the next minute you want to go. Um, but I feel don't, don't rush things at the moment. I feel things could work out if you if you just give your time enough time to, to calm down and just let it pass mm -hmm. outside for a little while and then sit and talk. That makes sense. I felt really emotional for Katie when you were reading for her. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So whether that's the emotion that she's feeling in herself at the moment, it's important to acknowledge that, honey. Rebecca, can you tell me if I have a spiritual visit that comes to visit? <laughs> yes. I got yes very strongly with that, honey. Um, I get the male energy, the strong male energy. I don't feel that it's harmful. I do feel that it's very much about guidance, allowing you to see him in a way um, that doesn't scare you, so to speak. I do feel very peaceful with his energy, okay? And I want to say he's an older gentleman with that side of her, okay? I don't know who Bert is, but all of a sudden I'm hearing Bert. I'm not big on names, but I was getting Bert then. So whether you've given him a nickname or his name was Bert, <laughs> I just get the reference to Bert. Okay. And the little one, the little kid in the photograph, I was drawn to yeah. the little boy in the photograph, the little ha-ha one with Bert <laughs> around him as well. Like, to it. Yeah. So maybe the son draws the uh, yeah, the spirit in, in that sense, mm. playful, the playfulness. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It says thank you. You're welcome, hun. Okay. Katie, do you see me getting a job soon? Yvonne. <laughs> can you hear me in there? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Because oh, I was talking to you, but nobody was hearing me. Oh, sorry. We didn't hear you then, yeah. but we can now. Yeah, I can now. It was gone. It was with the, the last person that you read for. Okay. Do you see me getting a job? Hmm. Oh. Mm. I'm not seeing it until after Christmas. Um, I've got the February, March happening around that, um, but it's not going to be right now. That makes sense. But you will, you will start to open after after the new year, next year. Also, Katie, you can ask your spirit guides what it uh, tell them what it is you want them to do, and ask them to step in and do it for you. Give them permission to do the work for you. So ask them to present you with that job and have that clear message of what it is and make sure you thank them because when we ask they usually deliver as long as it's within reason okay jennifer hi ladies anything for me would love some guidance with career choice after leaving my job recently due to bullies oh honey they were jealous I see nursing around Jennifer or, or study, um, like being a service to others. Um, yeah, so you're looking at furthering the study and, 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 and climbing the ladder if you're not already a nurse. But I see you working, looking after people. Some, some yeah, she's got that very gentle healing nature to her. Yeah. Stay on your ground, honey, when it comes to bullies. Yeah, don't take it on yeah. away. Yeah. Lots of head pain here. Must have given us such stress. Of stress. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. No. Mm. Okay. Oh. 
that one came and went as quickly. Okay, we did that one. I'm not a speed reader. <laughs> Melissa, do you think I have a little girl is what I meant in the future? How And how many kids do you see me having? I got three. Yeah, I was getting three. And a little girl. I got four. Four? Mm, okay. Two. Yeah. Theone, Annette, Theone. how exciting for you to be on with your mentors. Thanks, gorgeous. <laughs> cool, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. May, uh, will my husband be happy in his new job, please? Oh, who would like to take that? Filter. Yes and no. There will be highs and lows, but ultimately I feel that it will be okay. Yeah, I do too. I think he needs to find his feet and once he settles in, he'll be okay. It's just yeah. that new energy. And if he keeps grounded, it'll be even better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love the way that hits. <laughs> I must remember that for a future. Yeah. future students. Filter. Filter. Usually when my students, I need to get them to open up and it it's the other way around. I love it. You're just you, honey. <laughs> and says, any guidance for myself and my family? I've got a lot of movement around and I'm, I feel like I, I'm, I'm looking for changes. So when I'm looking for, to relocate or a new job, but there's definitely a lot of movement around. And I also feel like I feel bored with where I am right now. I need it's like I'm needing something new, like new challenges. So um, I just feel that challenges keep to is uh, and going keeps it makes her feel alive and she likes to achieve things mm -hmm. in life. So um, I just feel there's a lot of changes around you, and so it's just about making making the decision, decisions, make your choices, and then um, just go for it. Okay. I also feel that. Um, there's a man around you too, um, but I feel he's more on the physical. I feel it's like I'm knocking heads with this person all the time. Like we're at, we're not agreeing very much on anything, so it's like opposites attract. So if you can work out that this thing that's going on between you, you actually are the greatest couple. Okay, so if you can actually work this this stuff out, it's a perfect couple couple to be with. So um, get your act together, really. <laughs> okay, when it's on fire, it's on fire, and when they're fighting, it's oh, okay. It's fiery. <laughs> yeah, fiery. <laughs> yeah, now's the time to get it happening. Beautiful. Megan, hello, ladies. Anything for me? House and money. I get be patient. It's coming. Around that, a lot of energy with the male in the photograph with the suit on at the back. Yeah, no, I'm Has, he's not wearing the hat. Mm. What was that? Ellie? What happened there? I think it was just an echo. I'm getting with Megan. She's very strong and determined. I feel, I don't know. I feel that she's the strength of the family. Mm -hmm. um, I feel that she she um, provides a lot as well. So I've got very like um, career minded, and I also feel um, she could actually run her own business. So um, opportunities are, are going to present themselves to Megan, um, and it all comes down to her if she chooses to do this. With that, I'm seeing the number three. So if she hasn't already got a business um she could end up with a business so or and expanding um but i feel that um she'd be very success, successful in what she does so with that comes money but be patient slow climb that's like don't go full on just just hold back a bit and work your way mm. up i get the heavy chest with her as well but i feel like i need to take a breath catch my breath some other things been quite hectic for her at the moment just ground yourself honey and take a breath Every now and, and then. don't lend that money out. Don't see it coming back. 
No, I don't. Okay. I don't. And she's done it before. So, yeah. Don't say no. Okay. Carmen says, hi, starting a new job soon and hope it goes it well. It goes well. Echo. echo. <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> All of a sudden, we have an echo. <laughs> so I'm feeling the world. The, the English would help. I'm feeling, honey, the job will go well. So um, just give it some time to settle in. You'll be fine. Get the first day over. You'll be right. She's got good people around her as well. Yeah. Katie, hi, ladies. Great to see you all. Do you see me getting a job soon and have made the right move with mum? I think we've read for Katie, haven't we, a couple of times? We have. Yeah. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Missy, <laughs> uh, my brother passed away and have anything for me from him. Do any of you ladies want to have a go first? Mm -mm. Oh, Okay, I get the heaviness around the chest, honey, with that side of it. So I do feel that you need to be looking at your own grief at the moment. And I get the reference to memories of your brother or um, things just keep coming up that remind you of him. I do feel his soul is very much around you. I do feel the ups and downs at the moment and he wants to acknowledge things. I want to say hold your, your chin high because things are going to get better in that way. All right. You could talk to him about anything. I just get he was good at listening, but he was also good at pulling you up when you needed that. Please know that when you're talking to him, he is still very much listening to you. So I do feel that he's very much still a part of the conversations in that side of it. I feel like I need to give you a really big hug for him, honey. So whether he, you would find he would throw his arms around you, um, but it's that feeling of just giving you that hug, that love to know that you're not alone. Okay, so please uh, accept his love and know he's very much there with you too, honey. I get a cheeky energy with her brother, so I love his energy. Maybe a little bit misunderstood at times, but I love his energy. Okay, Chantel says, any messages for my, from my partner in spirit? Oh, I get the heavy hair, the heaviness to the chest with that. Any yeah. ladies picking up anything? I just want What's to cry. Yeah, I was I going to say the cry. emotion. Okay, so do you think that there's a lot of emotion around Chantel at the moment? Yeah, my legs, yeah. My, my both my shoulders. It's very, really hard for Chantel. Yeah. She's so, unable to move forward. Okay. You're not dealing with this person. I just feel that um, I've got been taken to box too soon, that sort of feeling. Um yeah, very young feeling. Yeah, um, yeah not to, not quite. Hadn't really got out there in life yet. Like not yeah. more like a, I don't know, a teenage maybe somewhere in there. It's very young. Cool. Yeah, I get his past too saying it as well. And I get the feeling there's still some unanswered questions around his passing as well for you, honey. I do feel that you're going through the emotions and he knows that. I actually feel that you sense him laying in bed with you at night time. So whether there's times that you've woken up and thought he is there. I actually want to give you the piece of the jury. So I don't know if there was talk of engagement or or you were engaged, but I get the reference to I wanted to put the ring on the finger with that side of it as well, honey. I also need to acknowledge the birth date that is coming up or literally just been. Now, when they say literally, I mean in the last maybe two weeks, if not very within the next month with that side of it, because I feel that I need to acknowledge the birthday celebration around that as well. Hang in there, honey. He's still very much a part of you. And I want to say you keep his memories alive. And okay, what's, so the stummy very best. what's the, the stummy, stummy reference? Yeah. It's really, is okay, that what are you feeling? anxious or um, is there an, where, where the belly button is? Okay. Inside. So she could be holding on to energy around there? Maybe. It's pretty, yep. pretty heavy that she's near yeah, the stomach reference. It's pretty huge. I'm yep. not sure what it yeah. means. 
Maybe she could let us know what's going on around her stomach and what she's feeling. Christine says, A-R-O, wow, thank you. <laughs> you are very welcome, honey. I felt like I was getting my tongue tied. Carly mm -hmm. says, thank you so much, beautiful ladies. I appreciate your guidance and we'll take it on board. You're welcome, honey. I love the blue and the black heart. I don't know how people do this. I haven't worked that one out. Lena says, hi, ladies. Any messages from my past loved ones? Thank you. Who would like to have a go? Yeah. <laughs> You're a random <laughs> crown. I, I was waving on her. You're getting crowned? Get the tingles while they play in her hair. And here. Okay. Female. Yeah, so, so she the may be drawn to to spirit touching hair, so the spirit's way yeah. of letting you know that she's there around her. So you feel it's a yes. female energy? Yes. What level? Mum, sister, auntie, yeah, grandmother? Yeah, here we go again. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> golly, golly, golly. Sister? I get that sister girl in my head. A sister. So, Sister girl, what do you get? I, I get uh, grandparents, grandmother and grandfather. Grandparents? Yeah, so grandmother and grandfather. I do feel like I've got older energy. Um, so when Annette, when you're saying sister girl, do you feel like it's a sister-like energy or a, a friend like a sister? A friend like a sister. So somebody close. Okay, when you yeah. said that, I got past too soon sort of thing so to me i do feel that somebody around her has passed too soon in one moment gone the next oh. so passed very suddenly yeah what are you getting with the heart where i want to cry yeah. again and it's that oh yeah i was getting mm. the heaviness to the chest when you did that too mm. so so no honey that they're around you they play in your hair to let you know that they're there as well okay we oh. haven't seen roy for a while <laughs> Natasha, I would I would love to connect with someone in spirit, please. Oh, okay. I'll let you ladies have a go first. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> I like pushing their boundaries. The filters come back on. <laughs> The look you get on your face when the filter comes up. <laughs> All right. So with your filter on, Annette, what are you sensing? I got, I, I, mm, it's, um, I don't know how to relay it for everybody else to actually hear it yet. Similar to the class I had. Okay. Do you feel there's emotion there? Yeah. Okay, because I can hear the emotion in your voice. Mm. Okay. Would I be right in saying you're feeling like it was somebody close to her that she's lost? Oh, very, very close. Very close, and very they were dear. Very, very dear. Very loving and yeah. connected really well. Okay, so make the balance to... I can see the emotion building up in you, honey. Yeah, it's like that, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. So I'm getting hot again. Getting hot again yeah. like I did. Mm. Okay. All right. So, honey, I do, I get the reference to there is a lot of grief that you hold on to at the moment, sort of thing. So, whether this person has passed a while ago and there's just something that you're going through that has triggered these emotions, the feelings that come through, I just get the sadness. So, I want to say the need to acknowledge that side of it. I do get the reference to you have a few loved ones around you that very much let you know they are there. I get the reference to you speak to spirit all the time. So I want to say trust what you feel, you think, you see, you hear, you know, because that's how spirit will communicate back with you. I'm very much drawn to the male energy in your photo, honey, as yeah. well with that. So whether that's what Annette's picking up on. As soon as your, your question came up, Natalie, that was where I was drawn very much around that male's energy. Okay. Breathe, Annette. Did you have anything, Yvonne, you were picking up on? Only you covered it all. I've got the male energy as well. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you covered it all. 
Yeah, there was a lot of love there. Mm. Kylie says, hi, I love a smiley face. Do you see me finding work soon and in what area, please? And thank you. I will leave this one with you, ladies. Food, hospitality, areas, food. And she's a very creative lady. She's got a giggly sense of humour too. I quite like her. And a little one. Oh, she's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. A full-time mum as well, but you can do both. But, yes, she can find work and she will find it soon because she wants to. I'm sort of massaging coming up with this lady. Um, I just feel she's very good with her hands and I feel very sports-minded around her too. So whether she's um, interested in sports injuries, um, but I'm definitely leaning towards that area. So something to do with um, some sort of therapies, physiotherapy, but definitely around the area. Well, she could come and massage my back and shoulders and she could come and cook for me too if she wants to do hospitality. <laughs> I'm easy going. <laughs> I'll stop saying that, don't I? I can imagine what Roy's just said in the background. The only, oh, do you ladies see anything for me personally and a job for hubby before the year is out? The only you buying a new dress let you ladies will do this, but I see you in a new dress. <laughs> There's probably another event that she's got coming up that she's <laughs> badly working on. <laughs> really rock and roll, gorgeous dress. Do you know the only? Yeah, I do. Oh, I don't know. I know. I've seen the name, but I don't know who she yeah. is. Um, That's okay. Would you like to have a go at that one then? Do I see anything? December's jumping out when I ask about the job for the husband, so I might get some work before before Christmas or, or towards the end of December um, and start maybe starting in January, but probably starting in December. But, yes, there will, will be work for him. I don't want to do full-time mode with him, honey, so I don't know if he's looking at two or three days. I just feel like I'm easing into it in that way. Okay. And a new dress is coming, apparently. <laughs> we want pictures. <laughs> and shoes. And shoes. Yeah, <laughs> I get the sparkly shoes. shoes. Yeah, a lot of ah, shoes. that's right. Sparkly shoes. Gabrielle says thank you. So well, I can't believe we're nearly out of time again, ladies. Wow. The night has gone really quickly. It was cool fun. It is. Narelle, I'd love a reading, please. Job info specially. I'll leave that one with you, ladies. I'm going to turn my mic off while I cough. <laughs> well, I missed her name. Her name, Leanne. Put a name uh, back, Roy. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, button boy. <laughs> <laughs> Narelle, I'm getting that. Oh, what's happening there? You're still there, Tori. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Three of us alone. Um, I feel like I want to give up, but I'm, I'm hearing don't give up, keep going. Um, March is jumping out around June, so just keep going, don't give up. Keep putting the resumes in. So I do see work coming for you. Um, but I feel you're holding yourself back to like not putting enough energy into it, if that makes sense. So I feel like I, I do a little bit of groundwork and then I, oh, not today, if it's that sort of feeling. So, but I've got to keep moving, keep going forward, and that door will open for you. But I'm leaning more to next year. Hope that helps Wonderful. you. Wonderful. Okay. All right. Oh, I've got. I've got a special occasion around you too. I feel that Christmas is a really doozy at your home or whether it be family home. Um, but I've definitely got this magnificent, like I feel very family orientated where everybody comes together and is really like have a ball. It's, it's just a really beautiful, warm, like a, uh, an old fashioned Christmas, that sort of feeling. We're, We're going home. to Narelle's house for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Oh. 
inside you. It's very fuck family oriented. A beautiful feeling. You can tell I'm trying to get out of doing Christmas this year. It's at my house. <laughs> <laughs> I am not organized. <laughs> Against my mother's disgust. <laughs> Mum's taking us to a hotel. I'm laughing. Yeah, that's what my husband keeps saying. We'll go out for lunch instead. Yep. No. Beautiful. Totally. All right. Must be time for Roy to come back in. It's 8 30. Hey, Roy, what are you doing? Yeah, come on, Roy. Don't hide behind the women. Unfortunately, oh. people, we oh, have come oh, to the What a lovely night it has been with you, ladies. Oh, thanks, Yay! Here's the man of the moment. Um, in, anybody who has not had their questions answered this evening, um, I'm sure that the women would love to go over the comments. I need to leave something in your uh, in your mailbox or get back to you in some way, but please. Um, if you have the opportunity, tune in any Wednesday night and if we have the chance, we'll do these a few of these multiples to, to give the women a chance to uh, put themselves out there and get some more interesting questions. So thank you very much, people. Love and light to everybody. Thank you, Roy. Thank you. And we behaved ourselves. And I found a filter. Not from, not from where I was. <laughs> <laughs> can imagine the comments in the background. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you because I need to go live on my show as well. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Leanne. You're very well. She's gone. She's gone.